All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on the recent reveals from San Diego Comic Con 2018 for some of our upcoming Marvel Legends figures, including a Professor X with hover chair Farley. Oh man, and I'll put the link in the description for you guys so you can check these out from MarvelousNews.com where they've got all the pictures from San Diego Comic Con of these awesome new reveals from Marvel Legends. I just had to do a video on this one and I don't make too many Marvel Legends uh, videos these days. I do still collect them, but it's only very rare because I have like a thousand six inch Marvel figures. So it's uh, I'm pretty picky with this one, but I just had to do one for this one because it's like, oh, I just love what they've been doing recently with the X-Men figures and just kind of going back over over that uh, 90s Jim Lee uh, animated series style X-Men uh, that's just, uh, you know, I, I grew up with, as I know a lot of you guys did as well too, in the 90s there, and it's like, oh man, some of these are so incredible. So finally, a Professor X with hover chair. It's going to be released together. Uh, he's not a bath. It looks like it's going to be... Um, their uh, Riders series, and this was this one was kind of rumored for a little while, and I was kind of hoping they would do it. I actually did a custom one myself, which is not nearly this good, because uh, this one's actually got like the uh, the green jacket on and everything, which is like, oh my god, you know, X Men animated series, like yeah, Jim Lee, oh, I love it. Uh, it's even got like the huge, you know, uh, eyebrows that he had, <laughs> you know, which really reminds me of the cartoon, uh, but also the comic books as well too. I remember he was always drawn with like these ridiculously big uh, eyebrows, you know, like to show his emotion and stuff like when he was displeased with something one of the x-men had done he would just kind of like you know uh, use his eyebrows to let them know that he wasn't he was uh, he was upset right he's <laughs> the mutant you the father of the mutants is upset right you've upset daddy right so he's got the, uh, the the eyebrows to go with it so really cool stuff with that i think the hover chair looks incredible all kind of the details and the uh, the different uh, levels and everything the kind of the way they put it together as well as the under effect for the um the levitation for it to 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 levitate, uh, you know, above the uh, above the ground there, and uh, the, the whole floating kind of uh, effect looks really good. Uh, I wonder because this picture right here has it with the cerebro, uh, you know, helmet and that. So uh, I wonder if uh, they might include something like that with it as an accessory. I guess we'll have to wait and see what it includes. But it even it's got that like uh, kind of red uh, blanket that he's got kind of over his knees when he's uh, when he's you know uh, uh, riding around in the uh, the hover chair. So. Uh, uh, oh man, that's really, really cool. So to finally get them to release an official version, there has not been a Professor X figure comic book series since... Uh, I want to say the Toy Biz uh, a Galactus Wave. Uh, you know, it was it was not a hover chair. It was just like a wheelchair, right, from the movie kind of style. Um, so, man, this is oh, so cool. And, and for me, definitely, this has to be the coolest figure reveal from all of, of Comic-Con right here, definitely, just because it's so... It's just such an anticipated figure that I think we always wish we could have gotten, and finally now they're going to release it. Um, Following up that one, we've got the uh, new Archangel here. Uh, again, a link will be in the description of Marvelous News to check out the pictures. So here's the uh, on-card uh, image of him, uh, which is really cool. So it looks like he's going to have that uh, Apocalypse kind of add-on piece. You know how Apocalypse always had those weird kind of technical kind of arms and stuff that he would have. Um, you know, So that's really cool, right? And that's something also that the uh, Build-A-Figure Toy Biz version, the big one, never had, right? Was to have kind of those add-on attachment pieces. So uh, it looks like it's going to further improve the uh, the build a figure apocalypse by giving him kind of one of those add on like a clamp type of of hands which is really sweet and then oh man this archangel so this one became very rare it's got chrome wings uh, it goes on the other version that was released before a while ago uh, that one actually goes for quite a pretty uh, penny on eBay you can pay a lot of money for that one so this one to come out here it's got uh, lighter colors which is really nice but what I absolutely love that I never thought they would ever do is to include some of these other uh, inner interchangeable heads with him so you can actually do so this one's a must-have for me even though i have you know like five archangels now <laughs> you know, it's still a must-have right because he's got the uh, the other heads right too so he's got um the, uh, the Death's Head one, he's got the uh, like Angel of Death type deal, and then he's got the other heads as well too, which we, we've never had a release like that. We've never had a release, be it Toy Biz, Hasbro, whatever, uh, in 6 inch for Archangel like this, where it would have kind of the blue face with the blonde hair, um, you know, sort of like good guy Archangel, right after he's kind of figured himself out again. And then also it's going to include the other exchange interchangeable head where he doesn't have the full mask on, and you can see him in his kind of uh, evil form there at the other uh, 
left. So uh, this is really cool, man. You know, they're just stepping it up just just one level after another. I mean, you know, I, I would never think they would include things like this. Um, the idea of having extra Build-A-Figure pieces as well, too, is just really cool because it just adds even more to that Apocalypse Build-A-Figure, which is also, you know, already amazing as it is. So uh, this one also, for me, is a highly anticipated release. And, yeah, I can't wait to get this one, too. Really amazing. Looks great. And I can't wait to see how it looks with the uh, kind of good guy Archangel head on. That's going to be really cool. Uh, and then we got a Gambit, man. Like, oh, my God, this is just so awesome, right? It's been forever since they've done a Gambit, since, you know, the early series uh Toy Biz figures. Um, so he's got the uh, the jacket on, similar it looks like to the uh, Madrox uh, multiple man figure, uh, which a lot of us thought you know they might use that that mold, continue with that, and just do a gambit pretty soon. And it looks like they're finally going to do it now. And uh, much needed, man. I mean, the old Toy Biz version, it's cool and all, like, it's not bad, but it doesn't really fit in scale with the newer Marvel Legends. And Gambit is an awesome character, right, with the uh, the cards and everything. So it's fun. Um, Old school X-Men, really popular in the 90s and that. And we'll see if they ever get that damn Gambit movie done, which they were, <laughs> I thought they were doing. But uh, I don't know. I haven't heard any recently from that one. So uh, hopefully that will be coming down the pipe in the next couple of years. But really cool to see this release. He's got a good height on him, which is really cool. And, uh, man, he, he just looks amazing, right? I mean, it's just, like, excellent. You know, it's easy. Easy for them to do, right? Because they already got most of most of the parts for him. You just got to do, like, you know, a new head, really. New uh, torso type of deal. And I I guess with the legs too with the uh, his stylized boots but uh definitely worth it uh, happy to see this one as well too and just freaking killing it man it looks great you know it just really really looks cool uh there's another picture of him there as well too then we've got the um the two pack or the box set which is the days of future past uh, Wolverine Days of Future Past with uh, a new Sentinel. So the Sentinel, um, you know, I kind of expected it to be like this, which is, it's okay. I mean, we, we've already had this release, right? Uh, the color scheme is a little bit little bit new, I want to say. But it's basically the same Sentinel that they released a couple years ago there, if you guys remember. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to get that special Wolverine if you want to get the Days of Future Past Wolverine. Then, you know, I guess it's it's kind of worth it. But uh, to army build it, uh, we'll have to see what the price point ends up at and, and just what that looks like. Uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool release, but it's not one that I personally am too amped for because we already have a bunch of Sentinels and uh, it looks much the same as the one that they released a couple years ago anyway. It just looks kind of like a, a reuse type of, uh, type of deal with maybe a slight color variation. Um, you know, uh, compared to. But the Wolverine is nice. The Wolverine is cool. And, uh, yeah, so that's not bad. The Hercules. So, Hercules, this one's really cool, too, because, um, you know, they did do that Hasbro one. Like, I have the Hasbro one they did, uh, you know, I don't know how many years ago now when the Hasbro first kind of took over the, uh, the Marvel license and they started doing the Marvel Legends. And it was just like, I don't know, man, compared to this, I mean... <laughs> It's, there's this is night and day. They really, you know, you can't, you can argue certain things, but you can't argue that they have stepped up their their quality to just a totally another level. This one just kills that one. I mean, it's like that one's pretty much, you know, maybe you keep it for a classic type of uh, Hercules figure, but this one is just so much better. The weapons and everything, really amazing, man. Wow. So similar to the Ares they did, just, uh, you know, it, it's necessary, right, to kind of upgrade and improve. Here's another one here. we got a Build-A-Figure Kingpin, which is really cool as well, too. I love the ring, right? It's got the ring in the hand and the uh, the cane, the, <laughs> the pip cane and everything. Uh, that's really cool. It looks like he's got some good size to him as well. Uh, so that's amazing. And, man, you know, what they have been doing with this Marvel license these last few years of Marvel Legends is really it's really impressive. It's almost like, even though, like, for me, an old school collector, it's like, I already got most of these. I have all the characters, mostly. Almost all of them, right? Like, I have a Kingpin, the uh, old school uh, Toy Biz uh, face-off Kingpin, right? But it's like, this one is just so much better, and, and what they're releasing is so much improved from the older stuff that it almost makes you want to buy. It's like, okay, I already have one, but is this one that much better? Is it worth it? It's like, yeah kind of is you know like it's it's so much better it's so much improved that uh, that makes you it still makes you want to get it yeah amazing wow but here's a character that you wouldn't have unless you were into customization is that a silver sable i'm trying to figure out like I'm trying to think like, is it or not oh i'm not sure man uh that's really cool too though uh yeah silver sable uh, there's another kind of Wolverine uh, type of character for if you have a Wolverine collection going. I got one, and I uh, love all the Wolverine characters. Keep them coming, Hasbro. All the Wolverine characters you can do, do it. Maybe Silver Samurai. I don't know. Whatever you got, just.
just do it. You know, I, I'll buy it all. It's all good, right? <laughs> so that one's cool. And then a Blink, you know, there's a figure that nobody has, right? I mean, even if you're into customization, you probably would never go to the trouble to customize a Blink. But this one is just, again, another X-Men character that uh, I never thought they would ever release. Uh, it looks amazing. I like the shards. They look really cool. Uh, the coloration, you know, just kind of the way she looks and everything. Uh, really cool. And again, another character that uh, you probably would never put the effort into customizing one unless you're a huge fan of the character, which, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know how many people are. But in the movie, uh, Days Future Past, she was awesome. So, um, yeah, man, that's really cool. Comp version of uh, Blink. That's amazing. It looks great. I like the color, too. The, the purple and everything. Pink is really nice. Then they're going to re-release the uh, Magic figure, which was part of the box set which was really hard to find and again became very 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 pricey very quickly uh, with a slight variation looks like the uh, the other sword she's got is different she's got some dragon and a skull here kind of add-ons and I think the eyes are a little bit different from the other um, version that they released. Here's another look at the Silver Sable. Uh, looks really good. Um, I The pupils are a little bit big this one. I don't know, but it's uh, you know it's, it's still pretty good, and the guns are unique and everything. I like the paint on the uh, the silver and everything. That's really nice. Uh, Kree Soldier. Uh, so a new uh, Kree Soldier looks like they're going to release, so cool for army building if you're into that. Uh, that's all good. Uh, some more AIM Soldiers. So they're going to do another one of those kind of two-packs, which are really good for army building, because if you if you go to a store and they happen to have a few of them, you can pretty quickly at, at two at two you <laughs> Uh, you know, army soldiers per box, you can get uh, quite a few pretty easily. And they got all the different interchangeable parts, so you can create kind of a unique army uh, with a lot of different choices for each one. So an AIM uh, two-pack, that's really cool. Then they've shown more pictures of some of these more classic uh, sort of uh, Toy Biz tribute uh, figures with the cards, which I really like. I think these ones are really cool if you want to have like a classic Avengers or classic Marvel collection that they're kind of starting to build out. Um, you know, or if you want to just collect the Mint on card. I think that might be the biggest pull here is for mint on card collectors who bought some of the uh, the old toy biz uh you know uh figures way back when in the 80s and whenever they were released um early 90s and that you know these are just really cool to have for just kind of that vintage feel to hang on a wall or something uh really nice this vision is uh, it's pretty cool you know kind of like a retro vision it, it looks in terms of the paint it's kind of got like a little bit more modern paint which is is cool um yeah i mean you know all around it's uh you know it's, it's pretty cool then there's a hawkeye another hawkeye as well too which has kind of a variation on the one that was already released kind of a more classic type of style and the but really i think the card is what sells it with these right like you look at the card you see it's really cool um it's neat. There's a look at the card for the uh, the uh, two pack of the AIM soldiers, which is really nice. Look at all the different accessories and stuff. It's really cool. Um, so lots of different combinations in that that you can kind of put them into. And then we've got uh, Luke Cage uh, two pack here with Claire. Um, so pretty cool. You know, it depends on whether or not you're into the uh, the Netflix uh, universe, uh, Marvel universe. If you're into that, then you know you might be interested in picking it up. Uh, but if not, then maybe not, and you skip it. Uh, then we've got another uh, Ultron, which is cool here because that was a bath before. So if you didn't go to the of building it before now you can just kind of buy it out right here's a carded picture of the uh, the magic which is pretty cool as well too so it's good yeah man that's pretty much it for um in terms of the reveals and ones that i really wanted to get my thoughts on that i'm most excited for of course there are others as well too there's some spider-man stuff and uh, black panther stuff which is really cool but these ones for me are just like oh my god so awesome can't wait to see these release uh especially the x-men stuff man that's like oh awesome so cool if you guys like this uh rare figure video for me because i don't do these too i don't do these that much nowadays so leave a comment below let me know if you want to see more of these and if you did like it thumb it up below you can also share you can favorite it. And uh, if you're new and you want to subscribe, you haven't seen me before. I've been doing YouTube for almost a decade, so I uh, can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it with this one. See you guys again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.